Hi everyone, I'm just waiting for Akshay so that we can start. Oh, she's gonna join now. Um, this is our session about UK placements. Very, very interesting. Um, hey! Hey Jess, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm very excited to talk about UK placements. Isn't it the best experience? Oh, a hundred percent. I'm having the time of my life. Um, when did when did you start? So I started. Um, I think it was at the start of July. Hmm. So I'm. I think I'm about six, seven weeks in now. Um, oh, wow! It's gone by so quickly. Like I don't understand where the time has gone. I um, swear. How long have you been doing your placement? I actually, um, I did my placement with Amicus, I think for like four months. So that was my, okay. I'm in my placement year right now. So Amicus was my first placement. I think I did four months from September to ja mid January, like mid September to mid January, uh, which means I got lucky. I got through a training session, uh, which I guess you haven't got to Jess. Uh, uh, yeah. I, best, I bet you, did you miss training? Have you attended one training until now? I've not been um no oh my i think that's simply the best amicus experience ever like training for me it was it was the highlight of my volunteering experience oh, wow yeah i'm definitely gonna get involved this year sign up to it um yeah it looks so good and a lot of teachers from my uni get involved with it so oh yeah you're from birmingham aren't you oh yeah. fair enough Be yeah school. so yeah um, how did you come across Amicus? Um, actually, because I think uh, this is uh, quite a, a, a nice story because Amicus came to my university last okay. March. Um, so not Amicus per se, but uh, Dinah and Margot, uh, who people should have met earlier today. Uh, they came to my university and they did a presentation on death penalty. I had the chance of meeting, not meeting personally, but viewing Sunny and... Jacob for the first time, Sunny oh, Jacob, oh. and oh, aren't they? They're just the most beautiful couple ever. Sunny and Peter are just <laughs> perfect. So uh, I met them for the first time, and then I got super interested in the work they do. I googled them, did the whole, uh, um, what do they do? Then I found out they're involved in death penalty. So then from there, it was just it, I'm into human rights. So for me, then Amicus was just a, I have to do it. And then I applied with them. And then I did speak to them about placement opportunities in person. So um, they said they do it. I was like, final apply. And that's where I went through it. Oh, I see. So for me, it was through BCU. Um, mm. So my degree is law with American legal studies. So I did five modules, which are about American law. Um, oh, wow. and so you fit right in. Yeah, and one of them is a placement module. So normally people like the interning students on that module would go to the US and do an internship. Mm -hmm. But obviously because of the pandemic, that couldn't happen. So oh. we're all doing virtual internships and um, shout out to Sarah Cooper if you're watching. She recommended me, she's a module leader and recommended me to Amicus for my virtual internship. And it's just the best. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Sarah's amazing. Sarah did the, she did one of the sessions in training. It was amazing. She did yeah. the best session in training. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to tell her that when I see her. Or mm -hmm. her, I'm going to be like, apparently your session was the best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and what made you want to become a volunteer for Amicus then? Was there anything specific that made you think, oh, I need to do it? Or... I think uh, the reason, I mean, because a lot of firms do death penalty, right? Um, this one, Reprieve, there are a lot of organizations that do it. But Amicus does this thing where um, I remember Margot telling me in her first session that we're not an abolitionist organization. We're a due process organization. And I was super intrigued by this because usually any, any organization against the death penalty is anti-death penalty. It just says stop the death penalty. Yeah. But Amicus said, we're not saying stop the death penalty. We're just doing it through law. We're saying do it legally. Just 
because that's the first step um which was super interesting for me so f- at that point i was like okay i want to volunteer i want to learn more about what they're talking about yeah and what was your favorite thing about being a volunteer ah <sighs> oh, the team the yep. team uh the yep. amicus army as we call ourselves i'm not sure i used to part of a group called the amicus army yes and i completely agree the team are just unreal it's it's such a nice environment everyone's so friendly um you can literally like phone them up and cry to them on the phone about your personal problems <laughs> like they are just so friendly so understanding and like they you say thank you so much for the things that we do don't they and don't i'm they. like no thank you for having me letting me uh-huh. do this but they're so grateful for everything we do and it's really nice to hear that you know they say thanks to us all the time for everything and it's nice it makes you feel so valued as a part of the team it does it does 100% yeah and isn't it isn't just lovely that it's so horizontal you don't see a hierarchy at all oh, you could be do something yeah i mean there's so many organizations which are so stuck upon the hierarchy and then this is just Margo would be doing something that you do on another day just yeah. everyone just picks up a task that needs to be done there's no hierarchy there's nothing there's no politics it's just an organization where everyone wants to work with each other it's so beautiful i completely agree it's just it's really hard to describe the sort of environment unless you're in it because mm-hmm. you sort of know how it is but it's just so chilled out and nice i love it i swear is the best placement i think ever yeah yeah 100% <laughs> yeah so do you have any advice for anyone who's watching who might think oh i'm interested in doing that i want to be a volunteer oh yeah i mean wow just other than the fact that do it <laughs> i mean the best thing ever even if you think you don't want to be a volunteer just take part in events of amicus and then you will understand why you want to be a volunteer just probably attend a yoga session with sunny or just a social event or just see an instagram live because when and or, or training i mean i cannot recommend training enough um i think once you do that you just realize the amazing work that these people do and then you realize how amazing these people are and at that point you realize that you want to volunteer with them so just do it because if you want legal you want legal work experience it gives you that you want administrative financial whatever work experience you want they're ready to cater to you they they give you what you want and th- at- yeah that's a really important point that when you do a placement with amicus you're not just doing one thing you don't just do casework you don't just do admin you get to do so many different tasks I mean I created an Instagram tutorial for this event for people who are speaking and might not know how to use Instagram live and it's all these small little tasks that you do that are fun um Absolutely. but also they're just so important and it's such a varied experience so I just think it's the perfect thing to do if you have like you said a placement year or something I just think do it just a summer off as well because it's 3 months 2 days a week it doesn't take too much yeah. time that's it's so amazing true. isn't it plus yeah. i mean i i think i can't even underscore the people you get to meet oh like okay. i mean i um i mean you've heard of bobby more obviously jess i mean you yeah. because i i know that we lived in it and i was at a point i was writing emails to bobby more and mark george and <laughs> hanna who are just amazing people these are people you would see on linkedin and be like i know that's a far reach we're never going to meet such people and then amicus makes you meet such people which no. is amazing i'm exactly the same when i was planning this event i was doing research on all the speakers so i was like oh wow everyone's so cool like i was having a bit of a fan girl moment about people at times i was like oh my days but yeah you you get to meet so many amazing people who do great things and it, i just think it's such an important charity and it's such a good thing to get involved with and absolutely like we said it's not a big commitment it's two days a week for three months you know it's 
it's nice it's very chilled out the environment is really chilled as well like you know everyone's on whatsapp talking and things it's it's not like you would think for the work that amicus do you think it was really formal in like the kind of way that we have conversations and everything but it's not it's very chilled out and nice and they never expect too much from you um if you can't do a task or if you've got other things going on they're so understanding absolutely and are they so ready to take load off you as well aren't they cuz it's like they're anyway giving you one task and they're like do you need help with that as well cuz i'm ready to do it Always. which is amazing and i yeah. mean um you i bet you're in the uk jess uh yeah. when i was volunteering with amicus i was in india okay uh, which means i was 5 hours before um uk time and they were just so understanding of that as well like margo used to be like i'm up at 6 in the morning anyway so why don't you just start early i will answer all your questions even from 6 in the morning which i think is amazing because oh, yeah. there are firms that say come 9 to 5 and these people were just like for the work that you're doing we don't mind whenever you log in as long as you do yeah 100% amazing. um Love so the team when you did your placement obviously it was remote um do you think you got as much out of it as you would have if you were doing it in person i think i probably got more out of it um cuz uh there were people i mean i remember diana and margo telling me um that before they used to have placements they, it used to always be people based out of london because the office is based out of london yeah uh, but this time i was in india I, a chance i would have never got in um if i was in there cuz covid didn't let me travel there were people from manchester they were just you're from birmingham at, well, and, uh, are in, you based around i'm in bristol at the moment that's where i'm Ooh. from um so yeah i agree like it would have been a very different thing if it was in person and yeah i think it's just so nice doing it although i do wish that we could be in an office environment and have like the team that be super fun um, so, i think yeah. the thing i missed probably the thing i missed in office environment for was like i wished i could just hug diana and margo and anna and uh, katie it's just, i just want to hug them on my last day i think that's the thing i miss the most cuz yeah. they're just amazing people um but at the end of the day there are the morning meetings and there are uh, just the weekly meetings the whatsapp group it's just so lively so um yeah. for me remote worked extremely well yes i completely agree and final thing before we log off um what does amicus mean to you and why is it a good charity to get involved with ooh all right um amicus actually for me is um it's a way for me to stay connected with uh hum- human rights issues that are bigger than me uh and that are bigger than what's been mentioned in a newspaper per se uh because uh i didn't know too much about the death penalty until i got involved in amicus and then the lisa montgomery case which was so hot um at that time was something that we closely followed all these the four, the 14 death penalties that were scheduled for january were things that we hotly followed in amicus and for me i took away from that so much knowledge that my i started finding other placements which dealt with death penalty i started learning more about the death penalty it's just it was a way for me to zoom out of my world and my issues and see things that actually like people are facing life and death literally uh, so amicus was for me a way to zoom out and look at things that were bigger than me i completely agree you see the bigger picture of so many different things and it's just i don't know how to explain it but you just feel like you're making an impact because you're know. doing all these small little things that are going to help someone and at the time sometimes you think oh like i feel like i'm not doing enough for amicus um like i wish 100%. i could do so much more to help but then you have to think actually all the small little things that i'm doing on making a big difference in the end 100% 100% plus isn't there you just have the chance to stay involved for however long you want cuz i finished in january but i had i i met with the people in the social event in february i'm i just 
I just find ways to keep getting involved with Amicus no matter what happens because it, it pulls you back. And uh, I know that I will be exactly the same. So, 100%, yeah. isn't it? That's why I'm here today. Like, I, I remember Diana saying, we have the Andrew Lee J- Jones event. And I was like, put me in. Just, I want to do something because it's Amicus yeah. work. I want to get back in. So it's... Definitely. It's a family. Yes, I agree. It is a family. Anyway, we need to wrap this up because we have another session starting in a minute. So thank you for joining me to talk about placements. Thank you for having me, Jess. Thanks. And hi, Margot. Thank you for having me, Margot, as well. (laughs) Yes, hi, Margot. And for everyone watching, just don't forget to keep watching us throughout the day and donate to Amicus. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.